Part of what makes Grace Kelly a lasting icon she is remembered for today is that she has achieved two of the wildest dreams every little girl has at one point in her life, becoming a star and a princess. But beyond what seems to be a glamorous life, our troubled upbringing and fairy tale romance. Delving past this curtain of glamorous celebrity, we will be looking at some of the secret moments that humanize this icon of yesterday. But before we begin, don't forget to watch this video to the end. Hit the subscribe button for 7 years of good luck and comment I subscribed and we'll do our best to reply to your comment. She grew up in a Catholic community. Born on November 12, 1929 at the Han Man University Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to an affluent and influential family, Grace Patricia Kelly, also known as Grace of Monaco, was an American film actress who grew up in the suburbs of Philadelphia in a small, predominantly Catholic community. She went to Catholic school throughout her childhood where she participated in plays and discovered her loving of acting. While attending Ravenhill Academy, a reputable Catholic girls' school, Kelly modeled fashions at local charity events with her mother and sisters. At the age of 12, she had already played the lead role in 1949, Don't Feed the Animals, a play produced by the East Falls Old Academy player. Her career was disapproved. Every child has a dream in mind, and when you ask a child what they want to be when they grow up, there's a good chance that they'll say, I want to be an actor, or I want to be a musician. The reverse was the case for Kelly. When she told her parents that she wanted to be an actress and enrolled in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, they weren't exactly thrilled about it. Kelly's father, John Brendan Kelly Sr., also known as Jack Kelly, one of the most accomplished American competitors in the history of sport of rowing and a triple Olympic champion, believed acting to be a slim cut, a slim cut above streetwalker. That's pretty harsh. Nevertheless, Kelly decided to pursue her dreams of becoming an actress. To start her career, she auditioned for the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. She almost missed out. Despite being a Hollywood icon, Kelly almost didn't make it into the Academy of Dramatic Arts. The school had already filled all available openings, but Kelly's playwright, Uncle George, stepped in to urge them to accept her. After auditioning with a scene from her Uncle George's play, The Torch Bearers, Kelly managed to get an interview with the admissions officer. Of course, Grace charmed him and secured herself a place in the prestigious academy. The Hidden Secret Though Kelly had a reputation of being ladylike, she didn't get it by sitting around. Instead, she had to take lessons to rid herself of her Philadelphia accent. While at acting school, her instructors suggested she work on her voice and delivery, which she did, using a tape recorder to help herself. And the result is a measured and well-rounded British kind of speech. Born to be a star Although we all know that Grace Kelly is one of the most beautiful women that ever lived, her friends didn't realize that beauty until later in life. They were surprised to discover her good looks, as Grace was always on bandana with glasses and sweater, nothing glamorous. So when she went off to act, they had a hard time believing the girl they knew was now a major Hollywood star. When she eventually graduated from Stevens School, a private and socially prominent school, in 1947, the Stevens Prophecy section of the yearbook read, Miss Grace P. Kelly, a famous star of stage and screen. That is right. She dated her instructor. Though Kelly's parents weren't too keen on the man she dated, but they have a taste for her. After high school, Kelly left home for New York to attend the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, where she began a relationship with one of her instructors, Don Richardson, in her second year. The affair was kept secret because Richardson was married. And when she finally brought him home to meet her parents, they were less than thrilled by the idea and forced her to end the whole affair. Time for romance. The award-winning actress was in charge of the United States delegation for the 1955 Cannes Film Festival, where she was invited to take part in a photo with the Prince of Monaco. This was the first time the future couple met. However, she was in a relationship with French actor Jean-Pierre Aumont at the time. Her family paid a $2 million dowry. Before Kelly was allowed to marry Prince Rainier, her family had to seal the deal with a dark gesture. They had to pay a dowry. Yes, you heard that right. A dowry. In the form of $2 million. Even worse, half of the money for the dowry came out of the inheritance that Kelly should have received when her parents eventually pass away. Kelly paid the other half herself. What a romantic start to her marriage. The Secret Scene 
With a dowry like that, what kind of engagement ring and wedding gown does the movie star princess deserve? I guess a gigantic one. If you've ever watched High Society, which happened to be Kelly's last feature film before her marriage, you may have noticed a certain ring on her finger. This ring just happens to be Kelly's real-life engagement ring from Prince Rainier, set on a platinum band. The emerald-cut diamond was a whopping 10.47 carats. She wore the ring to the point that one of the characters and Kelly's real-life ex Bing Crosby began to quip, some stone did you mine it yourself. As if that is not enough, her wedding dress was designed by the Academy Award-winning costumier Helen Rose. The stunning dress took six weeks to make, as well as a team of 36 seamstresses and was a gift from the Metro Golden Mayer Studios. The wedding was estimated to have been watched by 30 million viewers on live television and was described by biographer Robert Lacey as the first modern event to generate media overkill. Kelly and Renier had their seven-week Mediterranean honeymoon cruise on his yacht. She had to prove she is a virgin and fertile. Royal people do weird stuff before marriage, I must say. On top of having to pay Prince Rainier to marry her, Kelly had a couple of other things to prove before she could join the royal family of Monaco. The first being that she had to renounce was her American citizenship. But the second one that made her look like a piece of cake is that Kelly had to take a fertility test and prove she is a virgin. The royal family needed to be sure that she could give the prince an heir. If it turned out that she couldn't, the Rainiers likely would have forbidden the marriage. And when she finally said, I do, to Prince Rainier, he truly believed that he was marrying a virgin. Apparently, when the Monaco's royal staff checked to be sure she was still intact down there, she said her hymen must have been tore when she was horseback riding. Maybe not. Luckily, Kelly was a fertile girl. The couple had three healthy children throughout their marriage. Princess Stephanie, Princess Caroline, and Prince Albert current Prince of Monaco, born March 4, 1958. She rejected an iconic role. Working in Hollywood was deemed to be unbecoming of a princess. Therefore, Kelly had to give up her accelerating career to become a royal fixture in the country of Monaco. Her husband was so opposed to her former career that he banned them from being shown in Monaco. Ironically, her fame in Hollywood won't just go like that as her old director, Alfred Hitchcock, never gave up on trying to get Kelly to star in another one of his films. Hitchcock allegedly planned to use 1962's Marnie as Kelly's big comeback to the silver screen, and the princess agreed to take part but public outcry in Monaco against her involvement in a film where she should play a kleptomaniac made her reconsider and ultimately reject the project. However, because Rainier believed Grace's fame in the Hollywood would boost Monaco's tourism, he worked with her in a 33-minute independent film called Rearranged in 1979, which received interest from ABC TV executives in 1982 after premiering in Monaco, on the condition that it be extended to an hour. But before more scenes could be shot, Grace died and the film was never released or shown publicly again. Tragedy struck. On September 13, 1982, a terrifying car accident caused Kelly's life to end far too soon. Kelly and her daughter Stephanie were driving home along the hilly Monaco streets when Kelly reportedly had a stroke. She lost control of the car, which plunged over 50 feet down the mountainside. Paramedics rushed Kelly with injuries to the brain and thorax and a fractured femur. Sadly, the damage was done. She died the following night at 10.55 p.m after Rainier decided to turn off her life support at the age of 52. Kelly's daughter, Stephanie, thankfully escaped the crash with a hairline fracture and a slight concussion. But the impact on her was immense. Because of her injuries, she could not attend her own mother's funeral. The entire ordeal was so traumatic that Stephanie refused to talk about it for decades. And when she finally addressed her loss, she said, not only did I go through the horrible trauma of losing my mother at a very young age, but I was beside her at the moment of the accident. Nobody can imagine how much I've suffered and still suffer. Since then, Renier refused to remarry and was buried alongside her in 2005. The Living Legend In 1993, Kelly became the first American actress featured on a postage stamp, when the US and Monaco simultaneously revealed commemorative stamps. She was also cited as one of the classic Hitchcock blondes and as one of the most elegant women in cinematic and world history. And in, 2000 and, and in 2007, Monaco commemorated the 25th anniversary of their princess's death 
by unveiling two euro coins with Kelly's image on the national side of the euro. Though Grace didn't live long as much, she left a lasting legacy as a model, theater artist, television actress, and an iconic Hollywood film star that will live on in the minds of men. Do you know some interesting facts about Grace Kelly? Feel free to share them in the comments section below. And if you enjoy this video, do give it a like, share with your friends, and smash the subscribe button for more of our celebrity videos. Stay safe!